Raster as much as possible. Trundle pick up. I think it was more or less just a safe because it was the blind pick. He didn't know what he was going against, so it's just for him the safe pick. A bit surprised he didn't go for an extra. So he's going to be starting to do a bit more damage. You're going to see the assault and battery coming in here on towards Peke. There is a cyclone coming out, and they're going to focus on towards Svenskun. Have they got the damage? Yes, they do. First blood X Peke, brilliantly done. And cyanide magic penetration to try and shut down the spirit visage here from from uh, from Freddy. Let's see how that one works out. They continue to go head to head, and we can see the yellow star here with oh. that ancient coin coming in. Candy Panda going low, has to use a barrier. But here comes Svenskorn as well. Cyanide now coming in from the side. There's the ultimate coming out. Svenskorn goes down. Reckless picks that one up, and Rayton had to flash. That's a good play, but is he going to get him away from it? Cyanide putting down lots of damage to double kill. Max Rayton there. there, and now Peke comes in. Candy Panda's dead. What a whitewash fight for Fnatic. Been in the right place at the right time. I think that's a, a very important one from this one. And Pekka going in towards oh, Svenska in there. He is out of mana here. I'm not sure he'll get away. There's a shot wave from Jezus. And he takes out that. Anyway, meanwhile, Soas comes back into lane. He has now fallen again a little bit behind Freddy, but he's got a wave to work oh, with. Oh, they're going to hook Reckless. He's caught completely out. Stunned against the wall. Great and picks up the kill. Could have done with that going over to Candy Panda, but a kill's a kill. He needs to be able to wave clear this, and SK needs to be careful they don't get engaged on. And wise enough to back off. Yeah, and we've got Dragon coming up here in less than 10 seconds as well. So SK actually in prime position from that one as he go in towards Freddy. He's going to get changed up. There's the ultimate coming out. There is a call in from the side as well. Wild Growth will save Freddy for now. They pick off the kill. There's in fact a double coming out from Jezus. And Peke not safe at this point. They'll keep chasing in from him on that one. We'll actually be spotted by a ward here doing the golems, which I think Fnatic are fine about. They know where he is. And then Rayton, he's going to get caught out from this one. He's going to drop the box in position, which will slow them down. But Reckless, he can burn up. Our uh, new section at the start of the show that the AD carriers have almost no faith in themselves to be able to carry at this point. And Cyanide will save that thought because he's going in on towards Freddy. He's got Soas for company as well. But how much damage does Freddy take? Not really much. There's oh. the pillar. Assault and battery goes down on towards Cyanide as well. He's super squishy. And Svenska finishes him off. I'm not sure that Soas will be able to escape. There was a shockwave from the back. It's a double kill for Svenska and on by came in as well. I can afford that at this point. We've got less than a minute to Dragon. This could be interesting though. Candy Panda down on the bottom lane. He's not going to get away from Peke here. Does some oh. good damage or is he? Actually using the barrier and the flash. Gets away from oh. the calling. Wild growth came down on towards Peke there. That was pretty close stuff. And that was Dragon and make a 5v5 scenario. He won't have his ultimate ready though and Peke will. Reckless actually trying to keep that bottom lane pushed up, but he's going to get caught out by Svenskun, who's got a hell of a lot of damage at this point. Reckless has got no mana, he can't escape that one, and while it was a lead over Fnatic, all, I was going to say all the outer turrets, that's not quite true, because the bottom lane still is intact, but you have to feel that that probably isn't going to last too long. Freddy there in the top lane actually might get caught out if he's not careful. There are two main coming up. He's actually having a good chip away at Soaz, but now with Peke coming in, all the damage thrown as well. There's a full combo from Peke. Freddy not dead, and actually oh, almost, almost killing Soaz. They're playing a risky teamfight style. Well, can he find it going down onto the bottom lane? Actually, Soaz going to throw his ultimate in. There is a barrier, a good slow, but Soaz is not escaping this one. Candy Panda flashes in there. 1v1 kill says thank you very much. Lulu them one for one. Oh, they're going in. Oh, they're kind nope. of half and half right now. Not really going for the turret, not really going towards Dragon. And Svenskun dives right on the top of them. There's the pillar going in. Will SK try and follow this one up? They're all bunched up, which Jezus, I'm sure he's licking his lips at the thought of that one. Of getting a good 4-5 man shot wave off. Burst down there from Peke, but not totally finished off. There's the equalizer. Freddy going to the front. This shockwave only catches Yellow Star, who wild growths himself. Peke going low. Soaz is low on the top side as well. And they will surely be able to catch one oh. of them. Candy Panda goes too far. He goes down. Peke is still alive here. And actually, SK just don't have the constant damage to finish these ones off. No, but Candy Panda, he had everything. They keep fighting, though. That was interesting. Peke went in. Svenska was a lot of work into getting him down. Got the random ins, that spirit visage in there, and now we're going to see how well they can track him down. So as and Reckless going into him, and Freddy just doesn't care. Equalizer will actually force him to back away a little bit. The culling coming out, not getting the full burst of damage, oh, but they will finish him off. Reckless picks that one off, and Freddy maybe thinking he was a little bit tankier than he was. Which Fnatic just don't have. Yeah, Fnatic don't have them. The most tanky member is Cyanide, who's picked up now. He's Warden's member. That's ready for going on Freddy again in top. Yeah, Freddy getting caught out that last time, and it's going to be exactly the same scenario here for him. Peke's going to finish that one off, and, well, quite frankly. 
See the lantern put out at the front there. So if Candy Panda gets in position to do a couple of turret hits, then he can get back into it as well. And there we go. Turret starts to be pushed down as Cyanide tries to dive in there. Soul and Battery going on to him. He does ulti, but that's really only to get away. He's not done anything with that ultimate. And that is bad news as Candy Panda pushes forward, starts doing in the damage. They're going to be able to take down to your left and right but SK already starting to go in there is Cyanide though diving in they're gonna go for it this time Candy Panda actually down to less than half HP but they've not been able to go all the way through they did get one kill on towards Svenskren but is that enough oh. there's a shockwave gets Yellow Star and Reckless Reckless did flash away from it but they're gonna lose the tower so as is did flash away from it, but they're gonna lose the tower. Soaz is critically low here as well. It was a two for two, but they still have a lot of damage up front here to take down that final inning. There is Peke diving in once again. They've hooked him up. Can they finish him? The Ignite taking away. Should be enough from oh, this one. No, he dashes off. That mid lane has had its inhibitor respawning in there, so something for SK to actually take down before they move forward. Actually, we're Ooh. gonna see the talisman pop there, but Fnatic pretty much just running around in circles from that one. A cyanide down to half HP already. There is the inhibitor going down. Freddy picks on to Freddy because he was at the front. Yeah, but all the poke the SK did to cyanide meant he couldn't engage because he was too low. Oh, they're going on Pegger. Yeah, they're going very deep with that assault and battery, but look at the damage just from Svenska and alone. That's going to force him to go back and heal things up. Cyanide is going to go low. He does get his ultimate off in there, but he's popped by Candy Panda. And now SK are closing in. One Nexus turret's already down. The second going to be picked off as well. Fnatic backing away, and this will be a victory for SK Gaming.